Mr. Singh Deo, many thanks for joining us here on CNBC TV 18. Uh, let me start by asking you what you make of the decision that's been taken by the government today. The Prime Minister saying, look, it was the state governments that wanted a change in policy. They were asking us to decentralize, which is what we decided to do. But given the fact that now concerns have been raised, we are reverting back to the old policy. Mr. Singh Deo, your first reaction. Uh, first of all, uh, thank you, Sirinji, for having me with you all, and uh, a very good evening. Uh, I would say it is better late than never. A policy which should never have been reversed uh, was uh, uh, reversed with the knee-jerk reaction of some states. If the Prime Minister is saying that the, all the states were asking, uh, I would beg to differ. Because we never asked. From day one, we have been saying that it is the government of India who should be doing the purchasing of vaccines and making them available. And the state government should be vaccinating them. Uh, that has been our stand uh, from day one, before the announcement for the vaccines were made on the 2nd of January. So there, I believe, uh, the government of India made a big uh, uh, mistake, a big mistake in uh, uh, the setting of uh, policy guidelines. So if they have corrected that, uh, then OK. Better hmm. late than never. Yes, Mr. Singhio, now what we're awaiting are guidelines from the government. And of course, there is a two-week period uh, between which we would imagine the guidelines will be released because this comes into effect only from the 21st of June is what the Prime Minister has said in that speech. Now, you know, there were different guidelines for 18 plus, different guidelines for 45 plus, even in terms of central allocation to states. What do you believe the criteria should be? Should it be linked to population? Uh, or should it be linked to the other criteria that the government was using, which was the track record of states to deliver the vaccines? Uh, frankly, Shirinji, we should not be uh, dwelling upon uh, vaccination. We should be dwelling upon availability of vaccines. The entire focus must be on the vaccines mm. made available. The rest is logistical and uh, a very uh, comparatively a very simple thing. How many are to be vaccinated? Who is to be vaccinated? Uh, whether they can vaccinate or not? I am very, very sure that uh, there would be no state who would not be able to do that. The entire issue is the availability of vaccines. And we must uh, make every policy decision mm. with a very uh, transparent sharing of uh, this information that we have only so many number of vaccines available per month in the company. And that is why we are going to make these priorities, uh, whether they are age group-wise or comorbidity-wise or region-wise or uh, uh, positivity mm. ratio-wise. All that must follow, but uh, with the sharing, transparent sharing with the country, that uh, country persons, we have eight and a half crores, we have 10 crore vaccines in a month only, and this is what we will be doing. When we have more vaccines, this is what we will be doing. Hmm. Uh, what is the allocation for the month of June that's already been uh, uh, provided to the state of Chhattisgarh, sir? For I think the 18 it is about plus six, category? Uh, six lakhs. Six lakhs. Just six lakhs. Six lakhs. And, and we how have much, uh, about 18 okay. lakhs. How much are you being able to do? 45 plus category. Yesterday we did uh, uh, okay. 33,000. Uh, but then we didn't have any vaccines. We got uh, 1 lakh 41,420 doses uh, a couple of days back. And uh, now we are to get, uh, there were nine dates given in the month of June. So 7th was another due delivery date. Uh, mm -hmm. Let us see whether we get or how much we get. But the quantities are 14,000, 17,000, 1 lakh 10,000, 1 lakh 21,000. Overall, up to 1st of July, adding up to less than 7 uh, lakh vaccines. In fact, less than 6 lakh vaccines. Okay, so less than 6 lakh vaccines allocated to Chhattisgarh in the 18 plus uh, category. Uh, uh, now, I don't know what happens in the interim, because as you said that you're expecting supply to come in. Today is the 7th of June. You're expecting supply to come in uh, today. Uh, do you believe that uh, at least as far as the month of June is concerned, whatever was the prescribed allocation should continue irrespective of the changes uh, that the prime minister has spoken of so that there is continuity at least for this month? I suppose so. I suppose so. And they should also consider... Uh rationalizing the use of vaccines which were reserved for the 45 and above category. Because, like I said, we have uh, more than 18 lakh vaccines uh, pending use uh, because uh, there has been a sense of saturation. And the delayed uh, vaccination program okay. for 12 to 16 weeks for the COVID shield uh, users. So there must be a rationalization. They should remove these barriers. 
there should be one person who is supplying, which should mm. be the government of India, and they should have clearly demarcated age groups that, okay, this is free for all. If there is going to be a priority, it is the comorbid population. Now, no 18, no 16, no 20, mm. no 45, no 55, no 60. Everybody is to be vaccinated. If there is a priority category, it is to be comorbid people. And they could be 18-year-old diabetics or they could be 18-year-old hypertensives. They could be 18-year cancer patients. Mm. So comorbid patients, priority number one. Beyond that, free for all.